I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if there's well, uh, I guess that would be the know. question I would ask you is like, what do you tell drivers if they say, you know, is the employee retention credit a scam? How do you prove to them that it isn't that you guys are legit, okay. especially now? I mean, frankly, in a world, you know, we're I've never met you guys in person. We're all meeting virtually. Yeah. And I know that, you know, I think in general, it's always good to have, you know, like a healthy bit of skepticism, especially around taxes and totally. IRS stuff where there are some legitimate yeah. you know, scams and fraud. So what, what would you tell someone who, you know, asked you is the ERC yeah. scam. I, I, we have, uh, I would say it, it, go and, and find out the information for yourself. Mm. Go ask other accountants. Most of them yeah. won't know how to do it, but they won't, they, if they looked it up, they wouldn't say that it, that you don't qualify. Yeah. As long as you're structured correctly, you're fine. We've called congressmen. We've called other accountants. We have called the IRS to try to make sure that everything we're doing is correct. Yeah. And uh, we, when we qualify someone, we're going off the IRS's own guidelines on what qualifies as both, uh, you know, a, uh, a an S corporation or an LLC, and you know what what sort of sick time and FMLA time you can take in conjunction with it. Yeah. So it's important for us that that we're following the IRS's own guidelines. And so I'd say, well, I mean, look at the ch I I got a check myself, so. Uh, it, it, it works. I can promise yeah. you that. So, yeah. And, yeah. I, and I know, especially too, when, uh, when you got, cause you guys were actually the first one to, uh, let me know about it. And that's when, you know, I started looking into it myself. I had a few people on my team test it. And I, as you mentioned, Joe, you know, it ended up, we did a video on it cause it went so well for him. And then I asked you guys if, Hey, could we partner on this and sort of help spread the word to our audience? Totally. Once we saw that, you know, I believe he, cause he had this sort of a situation with, he was married and had kids and he, he got his yeah. up to, I want to say $19,000 for him his yeah. credit. Um, and right. you know, I know the first thing that I did, cause of course, like, I think that came to my mind, this sounds a little too good to be true. Sounds like a scam. <laughs> and I just did it again yeah. right now. I went to Google, I typed in employee retention credit. Uh, Mason, what do you think the first result is? Oh, I imagine it's a advertisement from us saying the, <laughs> something about the employee retention credit. Is it isn't, right? but it's the IRS website, irs.gov, oh, okay. employee retention credit. Um, and right. the second one, irs.gov, irs.gov, home.treasury, Investopedia. And so I think that was what was so surprising to me. I was like, wow, this is definitely legit. I mean, the first five or six search results in Google. Okay, this is an actual credit. Um, so yeah. it's not, you know, like, you know, someone, someone trying to just make up something. So I think that's the first thing I did. I also like your tip about talking to other accountants and just kind of wow. getting, you know, maybe it's a financial form or just getting some second opinion. Cause I know sure. that, you know, like for me, whenever I'm trying to vet something, like it might sound great to me, but even if it's yeah. someone who I don't necessarily agree with, just having them look into it and just say, you know, like with a yeah. second set of eyes, what do you think about this? Right. Yeah. And it's funny cause I've had other people say, Hey, can you teach my accountant how to do this? <laughs> I'm like, uh, no, this yeah. is our intellectual property. We, we had, we put so much money and research and time. I mean, my intern, I had him up, you know, all night, all day trying to figure out the exact plan of yeah. how it's going to work. Yeah. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's our secret sauce, but it's, it's available yeah. to all, right. Definitely. Just by going and looking at all the forms and different things. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I think that's so. good advice. And I mean, also, and I think the third thing that I, I did, well, or I would do in this situation, kind of what we did is, you know, like actually yeah. try it ourselves. Right. I think there's very so, low risk to taking a call, you know, with you guys or, you know, accounting yeah. firm or doing the research on your own and then sort of yeah. seeing like, okay, you know, walk them through the process, you know, right. sort of see what it's like. Uh, so you guys have obviously been doing a lot of these. What's uh, what's yes. one thing you've learned so far and from, from, you know, chatting with so many people at this ERC? Uh, interesting observation. Um, let's see. Interesting observation. Let me think. Um, yeah, uh, people are uh, really excited about getting free money until they have to pay to get free money. Got it. Uh, so yeah, so there, there is there, I guess something to think about is that we, we're in a business, yeah. we're an accounting firm. We, we have fees to be able to do this. And so there's, it's going to be about 10 to 15% of, of what you're going to receive mm -hmm. ends up that almost always ends up what, what we charge to be able to do this. Got it. So there is going to be a charge. We're trying to be as flexible as possible on with people, uh, at, because we understand that people are hurting right now. Yeah. There's so many people who are unemployed. The the uh, the stimulus check ran out in the month it, it came, and uh, you know there's there's people that that really need it. And so we're trying to set up different methods of payment mm -hmm. plans. And I think a lot of your your viewers and listeners have actually come to us and been like, dude, I have like 
I, I, I'm almost, you know, empty my bank account yeah. and we're like, okay, well, let's, let's do this first small payment yeah. and then we'll do payments as we go. And so then once they get their check, then they pay it off, that sort of thing. Yeah. So well, trying to be as flexible as possible. Yeah. And I mean, I guess I imagine that it's sort of tough because you have to balance, right? Like obviously like you guys have your own costs and your own fees for, you know, I mean, exactly. every time I get an accountant on the phone and I get a bill in the mail, it's usually not super cheap. Um, yeah. And so what actually, that's a good question. What are the exact fees taxes i mean let's let's use like yeah. the five thousand dollar credit for example sure uh, what are the exact yeah. like taxes and fees and who do they go to right so the the taxes on that is going to be it ends up about 15.3 percent okay. um so you're looking about uh one thousand five hundred and thirty dollars okay. um because you're reporting a wage of ten thousand right but you're only getting mm. five thousand but they're still going to take fifteen thirty mm. whether you you want them to okay. or not so the check is going to come for three thousand four hundred and seventy. Okay. And so our fee to do that is usually around five hundred dollars. Okay. But the problem is, is that many of these people have to set up businesses. Mm -hmm. We have to restructure you from a ten ninety nine to an LLC. Mm -hmm. And each state has a different cost. Yeah. So some people are, you know, paying around eight hundred dollars. Some people are paying That's around like me in California fourteen hundred dollars. Yeah, exactly. Uh, some people are paying fourteen hundred dollars. Oh, really? So really. Yeah, it, it, because like Illinois, New York, some of these others, mm. they're $800 just to set up right. the LLC. California. Not, not even including that $800 tax that oh, you okay. had uh, every year for California. Mm. Yeah. So there's the, so, the LLC setup fee, and then uh -huh, potentially yeah. some states have LLC taxes, like yes. California has the 800 Okay. And I mean, yeah. those are obviously, those are pretty transparent. I mean, you can go online sure. and look up exactly yeah. what those, I guess, what do, what do you call them? Filing fees and then taxes? for Yeah. Just, yeah business setup fees okay. is what we call them. And so yeah. basically a driver, if they start at, let's say a $5,000 credit, they pay their 15%, um, you know, to the government for, te for, yeah. Uh, 15.3 percent taxes uh, off yep. the 10,000 and then they have to pay you guys a fee which it sounds right. like you can work with them on the payment plan so that may not be all up front but then the other right. like LLC filing fees and any potential taxes depend on the state what are, what are like some example like you're in Utah for example like what are the yeah I, I know some states are cheaper like what does that cost in Utah for example yeah in Utah the business set up fees three hundred dollars okay. so we set that up so it's gonna be there's there's a couple things to consider because we have the actual um, S Corp setup, which yeah. is 300. We have the the charge to do the single single S corporation, mm -hmm. right, for the ERC. Yeah. So that's going to be about 800. And then we've got two quarterly taxes. When you switch from a uh, like a 1099 to an S corporation, mm -hmm. you're not just paying annual taxes anymore. Yeah. You're paying wages to yourself as a corporation right. every quarter, and so we have to report wages. And so we throw that in there. It uh, and then we have taxes at the beginning of next year that we do your business and your personal taxes. Mm -hmm. So in my case, I think it would be around um, I think it's like twelve or thirteen hundred dollars total okay. for everything. Okay. So, so yeah. it's not bad, but I mean, I guess that is the, you know, in life, right? It, nothing, it, it always is like, oh, $5,000 <laughs> sounds a little too good to be true. Yeah. Technically, you know, it isn't right. quite 5,000. Okay. After the taxes, yeah. it drops down to 34. And then after your guys' fees and like a Utah, for example, yeah. it drops down to 2,100, I guess we would call it or 2,200. Right. Um, still yes. though, you know, I mean, if, if I'm sort of putting myself in, in the shoes of a driver right now, okay, I, I vet this opportunity for an hour or two, you know, talk to you guys for an hour or two, yeah. you know, maybe spend another, you know, even like in a very, conservative estimate if I'm spending a few hours on this three four five or even six hours I'm still making two thousand bucks right yeah exactly <laughs> so. 